Hi beauties, welcome back to another video of Cat's Beauty Splash. Now you guys are probably wondering, why isn't she showing her face? Well, this is why, because I'm gonna be showing you guys how to apply the Apress Gel X Nail Extensions. So these are actually in um, coffin medium. And let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like inside of this box. So pretty much uh, the smaller the number, the larger the tip. And then the bigger the number, the smaller the tip. So that's how these are. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first thing is first, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna first buff out these nails, file them, shape them. Now you can either do it with a regular file or if you have this pretty much um, file shaping machine, you can go ahead and use this. So for today's purpose, I'm gonna be using this machine because I want to achieve this look quick for purposes of this video. So I have this Blue Cross cuticle remover. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on my nails. This is an optional step. You don't have to do it if you don't have this cuticle remover. All right, next I'm gonna be using this little drill bit to clean up my cuticle area. As you can see, the cuticle remover does help a lot because it's gonna get rid of all of those um, dead skin cells and it's gonna give you a much cleaner surface to work with. As you can see, look at all that residue. This is literally all just skin, it's soft, you see? So we're gonna go ahead and do this to every single nail. Now I'm not gonna be showing you every single nail because that would be very hectic for you to watch. All right, beauty. So next I'm gonna be using this cuticle nipper and why I use this cuticle nipper is because sometimes you get that lifting from the nail bit. So just to ensure that we have a very um, clean cuticle area, I'm gonna go ahead and use this nipper. Again, I'm gonna be doing this to all of the nails. All right, BD, so now I have changed the little drill bit to pretty much buff out the surface so that when we apply our nail extensions, they are able to pretty much hold on to our natural nail. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, we're gonna be doing this to every single nail to pretty much provide an adhering surface. All right, voila. Next, um, using our typical nail filer, what you can do is you can go ahead and, it's optional if you wanna go ahead and kind of shape your nails, kind of make them shorter. Um, this is where you are able to do it. I'm just going to go lightly and kind of shape my nails. I'm not looking for any particular shape since they are going to get covered with that nail extension. Our next step is to go ahead and grab our little box and start looking for the numbers that pretty much correspond to our nails because a lot of people forget to do this step and it's very essential before you apply any of the nail products because then it'll be very difficult for you kind of to measure. Now keep in mind if this nail extension is larger on the sides, you are able to file it down. So be on the safe side, we're gonna go ahead and use a size zero for my thumb. Now, sizing, remember, depends on you because we're not all gonna have, obviously, the same sizing. We all have different sizes of nail beds. All right, I guess I would say that's like the most tedious part, looking for your right size. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and apply this acid-free gel primer, which is also from A-Press. I'm gonna apply it onto every single nail and I'm only keeping it inside of my nail bedding. I'm not going outside, I'm not touching the skin. All 
All right, beauty. So now that we have all of our nails with primer, and before I move on to the next step, I would like to emphasize that in this case, I did not use a pH bonder because I didn't have any. So I just started off with my primer, but usually what is recommendable to do is start off with your pH bonder and then apply your primer after that. Now this primer is not cured because a lot of people will try and cure it under, you know, that LED light, but it is not necessary. So this extend gel you're gonna apply to every single nail. now it has a very very thick consistency so what you want to do is apply a very thin layer to every single nail remember you want to stay inside of your nail bedding you do not want to go outside of it all right now that we have applied this extend gel on all of our nails, we're gonna go ahead and cure it under this LED light for 30 seconds. All right, now that we have all of our nails cured in this LED light, the next step is to go ahead and grab one of your little nail tips. And what you wanna do is kind of calculate about how much of it you're gonna file inside so that your natural nail can adhere to this nail extension. So what you wanna go ahead and do is you're gonna go ahead out inside of it. Remember, you only wanna do this up to whatever covers your natural nail, right? You don't wanna do it all the way down here right because you don't want that roughness to show we are done with this now now you're going to be doing this to every single nail um but i won't be showing you and let's go ahead and kind of measure it and as you can see all that roughness covers my nail bedding which is exactly what we're looking for we don't want to overdo um the filing all right, beauty, so the next step is to apply the extend gel inside of the nail. Remember, you do not want to apply too much, but you also don't want to apply too little of it because this is what's going to adhere to your nail and ensure that it stays put together. So what you want to do is that you only want to apply it pretty much in the area that you kind of um, roughed out. So next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and sort of push it up against your cuticle. So remember, you wanna press down, make sure that most of the bubbles are out, which in this case, they are. So try and avoid getting bubbles. But if you do, it's okay. Now you're gonna apply pressure so that you can hold your nail in place so that when you cure it under the LED light, we ensure it stays in place. So this is like the hardest part. All right, beauties, so now that I'm done curing this nail in the LED lamp for 30 seconds, I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the remaining fingers and I will show you guys what that looks like. All right, beauties, so now let's go ahead and buff these nails out. So the purpose of me doing this is so that, as I mentioned earlier, so that when I apply the gel polish, it can actually adhere to this gel extension. So we're gonna do this to all of the nails. Right, so I kind of smoothed them out with this little bit, but now I'm gonna go ahead and make them just a little bit more thinner and buff them out a little bit more with this one, which has definitely more power to do that.
Next, what I like to do is smooth out the edges. So the next step after you have buffed out your nails is to apply a color gel polish. I am gonna pick this one, which is the color Rest and Relaxation, and it's by Sensation Nail. Right, now that we have the color in, I'm going to go ahead and cure it under the LED light for 30 seconds. Right, now that it's out, you're going to go ahead and do another layer. Alright beauties, so after we apply the gel color polish, the last step is to apply the top gel coat. And this is also by A-Press, is a non-wipe um, gel coat. All right, beauties, so this is it, and I would like to reveal the final result. All right, beauties, so this is the final look that I achieved. I hope that you guys love today's video, that you guys like it, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Love you guys.